Welcome to BDB Platform 8.0. Workflow 5 will enable you to connect to your data source, create a data set, and use it inside the designer plugin to create govern dashboards. Here are the steps. Go to the data center. Let's create a new data connector. Select the desired data source. In this workflow, we have taken ClickHouse as the data source. Provide the required details to create the connector and save it. Once the data connector is created, let's create a new data set by clicking on the plus icon. Now give the data set name and description. On the right side, you can view the table info slash metadata. You can expand the desired table to view the column names. You can write the desired SQL queries and use the help icon to understand the syntax. Next, validate the query and save it. Now navigate to the data set where you can view the available data sets using which we can build the dashboards. Now navigate to the grid menu and select designer. It will load the designer plugin. You can click on manage and view the sample dashboard file available or click on the plus icon to create a new dashboard. Let's explore the existing sample dashboard. Click on the edit icon and the sample dashboard design view will get loaded. You can view various charting components. On the right hand side, you can view the menu with various options. Let's first go to the data connector menu. You can see various data connectivity options available on the left hand side and some already mapped to different components. You can provide a name to the services, select data connectors to use, select data sets under selected data connectors, select load at start yes or no, timely refresh yes or no. You can also update the field set, calculated fields, and pass conditions. Now select the year dropdown on the designer. At the left side, a menu will appear with properties, dataset and script on board. Click the dataset and select connections from the dropdown. You can drop down the connections to the value field and display field as required. You can click component library and drag and drop various components to the designer pane for dashboard creation. The gallery constitutes variety of charts, grids, filters, advanced charts, other components, and custom third-party charting components like D3 chart components can be utilized in the dashboard apart from the homegrown charting components. Next is the Manage Dashboard Components menu. Here, all the objects used in the dashboard can be viewed and managed. Next is the Component Variables and Script menu. Under this, you can select the components, accordingly view the connections, and can write scripts for the respective items. Now select the bar chart. You can select and resize the chart. Select the pie chart and go to the properties. From the general tab, you can change all the properties like name, chart position, chart type, alignment, limit slices, etc. For changing tooltip properties, you can click and expand this menu. Likewise, there are properties for background, title, subtitle, legend, formatter, and even enable slash disable various export options. Now go to data set properties of the chart and select connections and drag and drop respective fields to the categories and series. Click the preview icon to launch dashboard preview. You can now see the working dashboard, select and apply the filter. The chart will start refreshing with the selected fields. You can now see the working dashboard, you can select and apply the filter. The chart will start refreshing with the selected fields. You can also see the daily, weekly, monthly view of the line chart. Once everything is finalized, you have options to save to another workspace, save the designer file to local disk, and save to current workspace. Upon saving, success message will come. Now go to the designer home screen. Select the workspace and respective dashboard. You will get the options to push to VCS, pull from VCS for creating multiple dashboard versions, option to share dashboard with the user list, user groups and exclude user as well, open in designer and publish to portal. Here you can give name, description, action for publish as new or republish, select dashboard version, and choose user list, group or exclude user, and then click publish. On clicking the three dots you will get more options to have quick preview, export to local disk, rename, save as template, delete and move to and info options. 
On the left side you can find more options for opening the dashboard from local disk, choose templates, set preferences, save as, access help section, and exit designer. You can now access the published dashboard from the home screen. Hope you would be able to create dashboard now. Thanks for watching this video.